Let's bring in Imran Khan now, live from Baghdad. What is the latest from there, Imran? Well, what I can tell you, it looks like Anbar province is under uh, is coming under the control further increasingly of the Islamic State of Iraq and Levant. When they took over Al Qaim province, uh, sorry, Al Qaim town on the border with Syria, they then moved down the road to a cut to two more towns which they took. They then would try to negotiate going into another town. And they couldn't, uh, they asked the Sunni sheikhs there to uh, leave peacefully. When that happened, the Iraqi army simply disappeared from a town called Haditha, moving to another town, to a military base there. Also, uh, moving slightly further down on the road to Jordan, from Baghdad to Jordan, they've taken over a couple of towns there. So Ambar province increasingly looks like it's coming under the control of the Islamic State of Iraq and Levant. There must be uh, a high level of pessimism in the capital about the way the Iraqi army uh, is behaving. That's absolutely right. There's still no concrete plan about what the government are going to do about towns like Mosul and Talafar and Beji oil refinery. Now, they were, the army say they are in control of Beji oil refinery. That's refuted by the rebels. But it's very difficult to hold those towns uh, when you capture them because of the fact that simply ISIL and the Sunni rebels are in control of Beji, the town itself. So they've managed to cut off the Iraqis from getting to, ba from getting to Baghdad. So it's a really real problem for the Iraqi army in trying to come up with a strategy. Now, we've seen this mass recruitment in the south. A lot of people are saying that those recruits are there to defend uh, the south. Moving those to the north will mean uh, that there is a sectarian uh, element to all of this, because those in the south are predominantly Shia, and they don't want to be fighting in Sunni territories. And uh, is the thinking in Baghdad that the Sunni rebels want to take the capital? I'm finding it very difficult to hear your question, Stephen. I think what you're asking me is uh, what the thinking in Baghdad is. Right now, everybody is in a mode of deciding what they're going to do next. The Americans are sending in advisors to advise the troops, and also the Iranians are also doing the same. So everybody is in a holding pattern slightly, trying to decide what the next best move is. Imran Khan in Baghdad, thank you.